everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name's Jade, but please call me Jelly. It is week three of Jellyween and I decided to do another makeup look for you today. It's a bit gory, maybe I should put a trigger warning somewhere in this video, but I decided to do a literal cut crease. <laughs> so this is the final look. A bit messy, a bit gory and perfect for Halloween. So if you would like to see how I created this look then please keep on watching. I'm starting off with a collection primed and ready concealer kit with a little brush just to sharpen up the brows and make sure they are defined and to also make sure that the eyeshadow is nice and pigmented and really sticks on there and doesn't make everything all smudged and creased and it's just packing all that product in there to make sure everything stays on. I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty palette in the shade Parched just to put that all over the lid as a base colour and to also lock in all of that concealer and the brow definition and to make sure it is matte and not shiny and then it's not going to cause any creases and it's also to make the other eyeshadow that I'm going to be adding later really stick on there to make it even more vibrant. Going in with the blood sugar palette I'm using shade intravenous in the crease with a little revolution brush just to deepen up the crease of a nice brown sort of warm tone and to make it a nice blending shade and transition colour for the next couple of shades. Now using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer palette, I'm going in with the shade Black Rainbow to deepen that crease in the corner a little bit more to give it a bit more depth and a smoky eye. And I love using Black Rainbow for a smoky eye because it has little flecks of sparkles in there just to give that little extra glam while being vampy and diva-ish and spooky. And I'm just using it off in the corner and then bringing it forward onto the lid a little bit just to give another transition shade for the upcoming eyeshadows. Dipping into the Blood Sugar palette once again, I am using shades Fresh Meat just to blend into Black Rainbow to give that really dark and moody and mysterious spooky kind of red shade just to give it a bit more gory kind of glam and I think these two shades together look so so beautiful and because they're quite matte and it just blends off really nice together with the crease shadow as well just bringing that all together and just making a really nice seamless blend. Now using the shades Cherry Soda and Blood Sugar itself, I'm putting this and packing on the lid just to add a bit of sparkle and to also blend into the previous red shade just to make the look come together, make it complete and to have a nice really pretty black into red transition shades as well as blending it into that brown. Again just makes the look come together, makes it complete and gives a really nice Halloween sort of effect, red smoky eye, which is perfect for this time of year. Now using the Maybelline eyeliner, I'm going to add some eyeliner to the top waterline, which always kind of creeps me out a little bit, like I'm doing like an exorcist sort of face going on here. But, <laughs> but yeah, now we are adding the liquid eyeliner from PS Beauty line, which is actually from Primark. Quite a nice eyeliner for very cheap and I just use this to draw on the cat wing, the cat eye onto the eyelashes. This pen is quite liquidy and really really nice, full of pigment so it's very easy and smooth to draw on for the perfect cat eye. Now to add some dramatic false lashes from Primark. These are only £1, which are an amazing price for these gorgeous, very thick, wispy lashes. I'm going to add these on for this look because I think it's just perfect to make it a bit more glam as well as being spooky. And they're just beautiful and it just ties the whole look together. Mm -hmm. 
Now for the fun part, we're using Snazaru face paint in red and I'm going to add this with a bit of water and also a bit of Vaseline to make it not only a bit chunky so we get that nice gore effect but to also make it very watery, a bit of glisten to make it a bit more realistic for blood and I'm using a old paintbrush to mix all of that together to make it very nice and wet and gory and bloody and to add some special effects to this literal cut crease. Before adding more special effects, I'm doing the under eye with some leftover intravenous eyeshadow on my brush just to add that bottom lash shadow that I like to do just to add a bit more depth and a bit more of that glam element before slapping it on with some blurred. Now that my eyelash glue has dried, I'm using the PS Fake It False Lash Effect Mascara just to blend my fake lashes in with my real ones and to give them a bit more height, a bit more curl, to make them a bit thicker and to make them a bit more black and to stand out amongst the red eyeshadow and also the gore and obviously to add even more glam. Going back in with the face paint, Vaseline and water mixture, I'm adding that under the waterline just to give that sort of crying, bloody mess going on and to tie it in with the, as I said, literal cut crease and just to add that extra element of gore as well as a little bit of glam. We all love a bit of glam and gore, shout out to Mikey and just to make that very watery and to make it look like dry blood I guess and giving that spooky little element to a glam cut crease look. And that's it, you're done, here is the final look. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this little cut crease look. If you give it a go, make sure to tag me hashtag jellyvlogs on Instagram if you tried this out for Halloween. I'd love to see some of you guys who are creating what I do. And this look was actually inspired by my very good friend Nikki, Nikki Sparkles. I will leave her channel and all of her social media in the description below so thank you for the inspiration for today's video Nikki and yes I hope you really like this look I am kind of obsessed with it but I need to get this fake blood off my face so <laughs> if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below what you would like to see me do in the future some more makeup looks or anything you want to see me do on this channel make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to become a member of the jellybean family i would love to have you and make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a video and until next time stay your wonderful amazing creepy spooky self and i will see you in the next video bye guys